I heard you got you got started early. Yeah. Let me see. Like three cows. Oh my god, bro! Look at that it's thing. It's so wide. It's <laughs> so big. Oh my god. <laughs> Sure, you're talking about Jay. I like starting here. Start right here. This one. Let's do it. Why not? I mean, we can. We'll try everything today. I'm just saying, like, I want to throw a cast. I got my way way out of here, back home to DFW. Those little creeks are wicked, wicked. This water's cleaner too. Looks like. Yeah, this is when it starts getting much more blue. There we go. Come on. Ooh, there we go, baby. Absolutely annihilated me. Think of that. He's right here. He's right here. That was a good fish. Nice start. Come on. There we go. It's a pretty dusty net. Let's go. First fish of the day, baby. That's so dirty. Absolutely annihilated it, bro. Yeah, that was a good fish. Whew. Oh my God. Smoke it. Absolutely lit it up. Like just tight line everything. First fish of the day. Unreal. On the giant glide. That was so intense grant and jay were explaining to me that these fish when they eat it they eat it they crush it with some authority probably about a five pounder such a beautiful bass hopefully this is starting something great thank you oh so just give you guys a little perspective as to what we're throwing and why we're down here we've got uh, a lot of things going on one of which we've got a lake that is got tons of big shad in. therefore we're throwing these big glide baits for some reason that glide just drives big fish crazy it has like a really awesome drawing power i've thrown these baits not too much probably less than i should have the other thing we got going on right now is we've got a full moon in a couple of days people could either call bs on this i personally believe in it but i do think that the full moon has a huge play in getting big fish active especially the last full moon of uh of kind of that spring year that early summer year here in Texas. This time last year, Peric and I caught like 35 something pounds of fish. Water temp is like 72. Generally a little bit too warm for bedding fish to occur, but they all had bloody tails and loaded full of eggs. So we're, we're basically doing the same thing we did last year, but instead of jigs, swim baits, trying something I've never even done before. I've literally never fished this lake before, so. A lot of exciting stuff. Big baits, big bass, new waters, full moon. Hopefully there's a, a, a giant on the horizon, especially since all three of us have big fish. That's good juju. <laughs> He's going after mine. A lot of people like can't do this. Like they can't see fish come behind their bait. They tweak. Yeah, oh, they start tweaking. Yeah, I like, mean, physically. I get that. And then like rip it out when the fish eats it. Literally, all you want to do with, uh, on a hook set. I mean, I know you know, but like one hard crank crank bait but just almost put the hooks in it. yeah Hold just... up. oh yeah he was really oh he went back for it yeah, yeah no just now oh there's one right there son of a bitch of course, of course. Um, but they're just weird. Oh, they're super weird. Like, like throwing a chatterbait in crystal clear water. In crystal clear water in a foot in 51 degree water and just bumping sevens. Oh. It's like if, if you were to There go, we go, little one. Stay down, Jimmy. Ski him in. There we go. That's the reality of swim bait fishing. Nice. Yeah. Good stuff, though. Yeah. It's all right. I just like getting bit. Oh, yeah. right. Little fish like big baits. Number two. We lost our big fish streak. Sorry, guys. I'm not complaining. I'm out here just to get 
bit on a big bait. Yeah. Dude, I don't throw this. this. There's not a whole lot of water. I know. By that's me why to throw I wanted this. you to come down here, dude. And you experienced it. What is that? A turtle? Or is that a bass? Well, probably a bass. What are those? Those are carp. Bluegill. Bluegill and a carp. Oh. Oh my God, dude. Do you see that? No. Look behind my bait, dude. Oh yeah, I see it now. How big is that? Dude, monster. Dude, look at this. You're on. You're on. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> That's a monster. <laughs> oh, oh, that net is so garbage. In the net. <laughs> Bro, that was hairy. <laughs> this net is... Dude, I don't have anything else. It's all... <laughs> Wow. Hang on, let me help you. It's a golf shirt right now. Oh. That's a good fish. <laughs> we all got one. There you go. <laughs> get, get it. That's disgusting. What, you, what happened there? Talk to me. Saw a follower from like, you know, 30 yards out. Was on it the whole time. Got right up on it, and then I just twitched, twitched, and that fish smashed it. Unbelievable. Six pounds, 14 ounces. Almost seven. Almost seven. Nice. Good fish. Very good fish. <laughs> Unreal. Boom. Boys, we're doing pretty good. Let's take a deep breath after that one. That means that each one of us has a big fish in this boat. We got a six, potentially a seven. We didn't even weigh Jay's in the morning. Did you get a weight on that one? Just a really thick seven, high sevens. I caught one that was probably five. Things are looking good. It's still early in the morning. But, uh, this is basically what we're throwing here. Right. Depths, 250 OG 10 inch glide bait. And these fish are just coming out of the trees, following it. And you know, 30 seconds into that fish following or 20 seconds into that fish following it, she decides she wanted it. Crushed it. Got her to the boat. Let's go. Let's right. get there. her. He's, oh, I got him. <laughs> he didn't look so good. <laughs> that was fun. Imagine, imagine that with a like a 10. <laughs> yeah. There's another one. A little bit better. Two, three. Whoa, oh, that's a good one. Nice. What do I do? Just nothing. <laughs> One of them was nice. Damn. Started getting followers right here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that one, bro. Just got it. Yeah, I just got it. Think you can do it? If you get on my shoulder? <laughs> Probably. You mind recording? All right, so I won't drop you if you don't move so much. That's what we do for- It's the name of the game. $100 right swim baits. How much is this thing? 300. $300. Yeah, we gotta get that. We'll just put the rod down. All right, you're gonna have to squat. I'll hold it. Yeah, it's fine. Just give me a second. All right. Ready? Is that a good angle? All right. Oh, God. All right, grab the rod. I gotta go up more. We'll go up more. Oh, God. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. You're good. You're good. <laughs> can you get it? I can get it. <laughs> What's going on? Talk to me. Got it. Got it? Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna drop your ass. Yeah, drop it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Legendary. <laughs> that is one of the biggest downsides of throwing big swim baits is they're usually really expensive, at least the really good ones. It's what, like, the more expensive they are, the better the glide, something like that. Good nice job. job, teamwork. Quick time update, it's 1107. We've gotten probably like 30 followers. Many fish show interest in our bait. Only like four or three that actually committed. We're actually figuring out a little bit of something here. This side of the bank, not so much. That's how the bank, like just about every other cast, we'd have a fish behind our, our glide. So that's, that's just good to know. Conditions just slipped on us. It was supposed to be rainy, it was supposed to be cloudy. Now it's sunny, which I think might be good. I don't know, this is tough. Swim bait, swim bait fishing is a whole new world for me. It uh, requires a lot of dedication. You're just throwing out your shoulder every single cast. 
but it's fun. You gotta be in the right mental state to be doing this. Anyway, so far so good. Now my boat is covered in trees because we had to get... You gotta do what you gotta do. You don't even retie, it's all good. It's yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's Second, third, and fourth quarter was nothing short of a grind. Um, that was tough. I'm burnt physically and also metaphorically speaking. Luckily, we did get you know three good bites today, so I can't necessarily complain, but it is tough to get those bites first thing in the morning and then grind all the way to 4 p.m. and then just not see another uh, soul to be found. It's so weird. It was an absolute pleasure fishing with Jay. Um, it's a really awesome dude. If you guys wanna check out his guide service, he guides all around here in Texas. I'll leave a link down below, but really solid dude. And super nice of him to take us out and show us some of uh, some of the, the bites that he's been on these past few days. He's been having some really mega days and we figured we'd be able to build upon that. But you know, bass don't like to cooperate sometimes as you can see, but we did get a nice swim bait fish today. That's nice, that's perfect. One a day would be nice as long as it's a good one. As long as that one fish that we get is a good bite, but I, I'm exhausted. I'm truly fried. I don't know how people throw big baits like that all the time. It's uh. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's 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 difficult, but I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it, I'm learning a lot, I learned a ton today, and uh, we just gotta start fresh, uh, pick up where we left off, and hopefully find some more fish and bigger ones tomorrow. Catch you guys in the AM. What's up, dude? Ready to go fishing? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> a little late. A little late. <laughs> All right, ready to go smash? Let's get it, dude. Do it. She got a crow. Didn't want it. Oh, I got one on me. I got one on me. I got one on me. Shoot. I'm using the workhorse. Oh, wow, dude, there's beds up here. I thought you were using a backpack. No, dude, there's some fish in here. Yeah. We've already seen four. There's another one right here. Dude, that one's good. No, not on me. Right here, right here. Another one. That's her. That's her. That's her, bro. That's not bad. And you said they wouldn't eat a stick bait. Dude, I said they'd eat a stick bait, they'd just be this size. Let's keep in the water, see if that big one comes up. Bro, that's a, that's a quality one. Should we box them? But like, not to, for pictures, like to eat. This must have been one of the Sherlocker ones. No, Grant, not gonna be my intro. Unfortunately, that fish is not gonna make the cut. Yeah, a lot here, we're going for bigs. I don't know, maybe. I've never fished here before. I don't know either. Oh, there's one on me. Oh my gosh. Get it up closer. Get him! There he is, got him. Got him. Stay down, stay down. No! Spit me. He only had one hook in him. Damn it. That was a good fish. Fucking A, man. Yeah, six or seven pounds is a nice one. I want to throw a tripod on my boat right now, but I know like one of these would just, you know. So I know I said we were in Texas in early, earlier in today's uh, video, but we're actually in Lake Erie. Freaking doinker patrol out here. Just making wake, making sure that we're, we're getting a little sporty out in this, on this body of water. Five mile per hour winds with uh, six foot swells. Pretty lit. Gotta love it. Watch. 
shatter. Oh. Oh, sh**. No. 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 Dude, pitch it back in, dude. Let it sink. Oh, my God. Let it sink. Bro. Bro. Oh my god, those were big. That was... I love how they wait to the last f***ing moment to come up and just... Like, why couldn't he have crushed it earlier? I was burning that thing. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Dude, that's a nice one. That's one of those fish, bro. Yeah. No, not yet. Get, get the spinning rod. Dude, that's a good one. Bro, what is going on back here? Multiple? Literally, yeah. Oh yeah, Jesus, look at them all. There's one right here. There's a big one right here. Two, two nice ones. I wanna see what's all. Oh my God, look at this one. Oh my God. Dude, that's like a seven. Look at the size of that one. Dude, that's that one that just dipped. That is not the, Grant, that thing's like seven pounds. Look at this one. Oh, these fish are really weird. Yeah, probably. Dude, if you if you put that right in front of his face and just snap it real hard, it's like they stop right there. Yeah. I wonder if it's worth fishing on the way back. There's not much not much further back. No, I mean on the way back. Oh yeah, right. Where are they at? Sitting I would make some long casts first. Yeah. There's one right there. He's been caught before. I wonder if that's the one that your buddy caught. Probably. How do you know he's been caught before? Look at his, he's got a dark thing on his mouth. Wow, super hard. Right there. Are those bass? Those are bass, right there. Yeah. There's one right towards us. You have like two seconds. They're gonna see this. One second. Pop it. You just ate oh, it, yeah. you just ate it. Nice, that was cool. Oh, that one just almost ate my jig. The big one just almost ate my jig. Oh my God, here we go. That's a good one. Dude, he did try to eat it. Dude, that thing is not right. That thing is not right. Look at the belly on that fish. Wait, grab the camera. Dude. Ooh! Genetic. <laughs> Bro, that's a Frankenstein fish. We got some weird genetics on this one. Look at yeah. the gut. Oh, all the way back here in the dirt shallow creek. Sight cast them too. Nice one, probably like three pounds for yeah, God's sake. Seriously. 12 inches. Yeah. Where, 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 where? Oh God, Jesus. Go wacky right now. Let him kind of, let him fuck, let, no, keep letting him go, keep letting him go, keep letting him go. Dude, what are they doing? Oh. Push it. Pop it. He's got it. That was so cool. It's a good fish too. Oh my God. Dude, it's a good one. <laughs> That's so sick. That was so sick. Dude, it's Oh what? Damn it, dude. Catch him. I think I need. Oh, I don't know. He's just gonna crush my fing jig. Oh, yeah, he's real. Oh my god, hang on. No way. 
<laughs> no way, bro. Are you kidding? <laughs> That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It was like a six pounder. All right, I got him. Bro, that did not just happen. That just happened. <laughs> Thanks for breaking off. Yeah, dude. Where's real. your hook? Uh, was that the same fish you just broke off of? Yes, 1,000%. Where's What's your hook? the whole thing? I don't know, maybe he spit it. Take a look at the dimensions on this fish. This thing is disgusting. It's just like the one Grant just caught. Like, looks like a bluegill. Couldn't even fit it in a pan, it's so wide. Unreal, we're gonna set her back. Interesting story behind this fish. Thank you. <laughs> it's a good fish, bro. Five and a half, six pounder. <clears throat> okay, just listen to this. Take a moment. What I'm about to tell you guys is ridiculous. We may not be on the big swim bait grind right now. We're, we're not really doing so good. I had two very good opportunities this morning to get a giant bass and I flubbed both of them. I popped off one and whiffed the hook set on the other. Yeah, with that feeling of defeat, we decided to go over to this barbecue restaurant over here, grab some grub. Grant decided he's gonna catch a carp because there's a bunch of carp and people feed them with bread and stuff like that. So we caught a carp, hooked into like a giant, what was it, like 20 pounds? It's like a 20 pound grass carp eating bread. Should be called bread carp. And while we were fighting this fish, we were going farther up this creek, which mind you is absolutely shallow. The water temp's like 81 degrees, it is Super hot, no reason there for no reason for there to be fish up here, and especially no reason for there to be fish up here spawning. So we're fighting this carp, just kind of messing around. All of a sudden we realize there's fish on beds, there's bass on beds, which is so strange. But like I said in the beginning of this whole little mini-series, this is the full moon. You've got this weird scenario in which the fish don't really care what time of the year it is, they don't really care how hot the water is. This is kind of their last chance to spawn here in Texas. We went up there, found some fish that were spawning, caught a few. Grant had some insane follows on the big glide bait. So we passed these fish and we established they weren't gonna eat the glide bait, so we made another pass with the lunker log. Grant's on the lunker log, you hook into like a three pounder, but it's not just any ordinary three pounder. This fish looked insane, as you saw there. And the reason why we think that fish looks a lot different than the ones we have been catching this trip is because they just recently stocked, what, 500 fish, where they share lunk from like share, share lunker offspring? Something to do with Texas parks and wildlife. Um, you know, releasing their pets, and apparently they look like bluegills. Yeah, the genetics are weird. Yeah, it's not this. They're mutants. They don't look like your typical bass out here, which is a Florida strain, I believe. Long, yeah. skinny, big mouth. Colored out. So, what we're trying to say is those fish that we caught, we suspect were raised and born in a lab. And they were dumped in here by Texas Parks and Wildlife so that they could breed with their prime genetics with the already established population of fish that are in this lake. And for whatever reason, they decided to go up this creek. So Grant caught that nice one. We we're coming back up. We we're coming back down the creek. And all of a sudden the six pounder goes through. And I'm like, all right, let it swim away. Grant makes a long cast with a five inch lunker log. Rips it, rips it a couple times, it reacts, absolutely annihilates the worm. The fight lasted like a couple seconds and it broke him off. And we're like, dude, what the hell? Like I I was a little pissed. I wanted to see that fish. And it was a big one. I don't like to I don't like lose big fish. I don't like seeing other people lose big fish. So we're like both pretty bummed at this point. It's already been a tough day. We can't catch a break. Fish is now sitting there right across from the restaurant dock, sitting there after Grant has fought him for a few seconds with a worm in his mouth. And I'm like, ah, screw it. Threw my jig in there, popped it twice, he eats again. So this fish within two seconds eats and breaks off on a lunker log and then crushes my gridiron jig with a crack and craw. You can tell these fish uh, were designed and bred to kill. I'll, I'll do a kind of a comparison of the, the fish that we just caught now and the ones we were catching earlier this trip. It's pretty obvious that uh, some weird uh, Frankenstein going on here. Peak sun right now it really sucks, but we're gonna still grind it out. Is yeah, that the plan? Not. Might go catch another mutant. Might know, yeah, honestly, those mutants are kind of fun. They're really dumb. I like them because they're stupid. <laughs> they're stupid. <laughs>